All right, hello, welcome back to another First Impressions review, everybody. This is a game that just launched uh, called Theseus, Mythological Hero. An RPG with a complex maze full of traps and some puzzles where the hero must fight the furious Minotaur. And also a battle against the god Kronos to retrieve Athens' treasure and save the souls of his old friends. Where Princess uh, Arid Aridid uh, is his only help. All right, so it's made by a couple of guys, and uh, as you would expect, it's their first title on Steam, and it comes in at a hefty price tag of seven U.S. dollars here at launch, and it looks like it's already been not recommended by my good Freddy uh, English teacher plays. I can look at the video here and see that it looks pretty bad, but maybe it deserves a second look. We're going to go ahead and see if Theseus, Mythological Hero, is worth a damn, or if it's just as bad as it looks. You probably already know this by the thumbnail on this video, but I'm going to go ahead and have my first look at this game. We'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into this new $7 game on Steam and see if it uh, perhaps is better than it looks. It does a launch with a Unity launcher. A game by Clusion Rodriguez. Hopefully I said his name right. Probably not. And uh, this opening screen here just looks terrible. Uh, I... I, I can't even begin to explain just how how bad this screen looks. I, I I don't even know what's wrong with it. There's just so much wrong here with this uh, this uh, this opening screen here. We got English and Portuguese. I assume the developer is Portuguese, but let's just jump in. And I think it's the font. I think it's the fact that the fonts don't match. We have a completely different font here than being used on the buttons. And then uh, just this blurry background screen here. Uh, okay, so we got credits. Let's take a look at the options here. All right, we got uh, the music and sound is turned way down. Let's turn the sound up a little bit. The music is probably about right there. And uh, graphics fastest. Uh, okay. Notice how my arrow doesn't really line up with the options here. But no, let's go beautiful. Yeah. And resolution. If I click that, it offers... Yeah, I, this looks like it's a click for on or off. But instead of when I click this, I get a bunch of different choices. And it looks like the highest resolution on this game is... Yes. See how it's so hard. I'm using my mouse wheel and the pointer doesn't really I can't scroll down anyway and the mouse wheel is that slow even though I'm spinning my mouse wheel like 200 times a minute. So look at the speed here. And I can't there we go. Okay. So there's why is there so many different 1920 by 1080 options here and so many 10 1680 by 1050 options? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, let's just leave that alone so we don't break it. And again, big, blurry, weird-looking picture. I think these pictures are bad because it looks like they're stretched out or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's just head back and go to New Gaim. All right. The labyrinth is an elaborate and confusing structure designed by the architect Deadless and his son. Echorus. On the command of King Minos of Crete, Detlus had so cunningly made the labyrinth that he could barely escape it after he built it. Minos required that seven Athenian youths and seven maidens, drawn by lots, be sent every seventh or ninth year into the labyrinth to be devoured by the Minotaur, a half-man, half-bull monster that lived in the labyrinth. When the third sacrifice approached, Theseus, son of Aegis, king of Athens, volunteered to slay the monster. In Crete, 
Minosh's daughter Ariadne fell madly in love with Theseus and helped him navigate the labyrinth. Yeah, I hope there's not any more because I will skip through it. I'm just saying. All right, so now we have a picture of a guy massaging the breasts of whatever that is in his lap. Okay, and it seems like we're stuck at 2% loading. Yeah, the font they're, uh, they're trying to use, I don't think, I just don't like it. I understand it looks cool or whatever, but it doesn't, it's just a horrible font, I think. Okay. And it looks like it's going nowhere on the loading screen. Oh, it is actually doing something, 4%. Oh my god, this is going to be a longer than a Game Guru loading screen. Oh, there we go. Aha! How did loading uh, bar is so bright? <laughs> what? What was that? Okay, my right, my, not my right mouse, but my mouse controls my camera, and we see what a amazing looking asset this is. Yep, you can definitely tell it's an asset. Okay. He's breathing pretty heavy for just dropping into the world. Like, I haven't even moved yet. And for some reason, his face kind of looks like that of a monkey. <laughs> oh my god. This is... This already looks horrible, guys. Alright. Um, invisible walls. God, the movement is just absolutely horrible. We have an invisible wall here, so we can't go back that way. Invisible walls right at the start doesn't bode well for my score in this game, anyway. Okay, like, I'm using WASD, but when I move the mouse to control the camera, it also controls my direction. Which seems bad, because I'm just hitting W. Like, I shouldn't be turning just by moving my mouse. The controls are completely whacked out here. Yeah, if I... if What the fuck? Like, I'm just using W and A and D. That's all I'm doing. And this is what we got when I use... I'm just using W, A, and D, guys. And this is... My character not... Not understanding the buttons I'm hitting, obviously. You would think I was just trying to break the game or something like that, but I'm just hitting standard... WAC keys to look at the movement. I hit space. I'm almost scared to. Am I going to fly off into the space or, or what's going on here? Okay. <laughs> All right. It's really, that really looks good there, buddy. Now, you guys have nailed this game. What a perfect game, right? Okay, so let me try it from this, looking this way, if I hit A, or D. Okay, that's not breaking as bad from the front, from looking behind me. Okay. I wonder if I can go onto the ship. Probably not. Probably an invisible wall. Oh, this is where we started, my bad. Yeah. We But I can't jump off into this guy. That is one big rock. Got a nice stretched out rock there, guys. What the fuck, man? My guy doesn't even move properly. He just glitches out all the time. So I have coins, the zero. Again, the zero is a completely different font than the coins. Which makes it look horrible. Like, go with one font. It's one lesson I learned as an indie developer long ago. Is, yeah, you don't want to be using, like, multiple different fonts. Especially fonts that look so different from each other. That just makes your game look very unprofessional. Kind of makes it look like a, you know, a two-year-old made the game. You know, because two-year-olds a lot of times just put... Eat everything. What the fuck? Dude, I was just trying to jump. Yeah, I like these collisions with the game. Uh, okay, so how did I... How did I end up 
flying out there in it. Like that. That's great, guys. What is that? Supposed to resemble a snake or. I don't know. Anyway, off into the maze. We have two hours to beat this. Save all the souls, the god companions. Right. Okay, so I can hit left mouse button and punch. Right mouse button does nothing. Can't move through the wall. That's a good thing. The lighting inside this uh, maze is horrible, as you can see. All you need to do is look right there and you can see how bad the lighting is. Yep, that's really great, guys. You guys have made a fantastic fucking maze exploration game here. I'm truly, you know, on the edge of my seat with excitement here. And that is our only attack, it seems. F E R B base Q E. Yeah, it seems like the only thing we have. And if I hold shift down, it makes me walk. Okay. So I run by default. Hi, buddy. The fuck? That lantern looks really fucked up. Oh, it's just the lighting that makes it look so bad. Yeah. Like I said, their lighting is horrible. Okay. Find coins, put two coins in the eyes of the dead. Pressing E. Okay. So I need to find two coins and bring it back to the statue, I guess. Alright. What happens if I punch the statue? Can I break it? I can't even face it. Oh. Nope. Great. I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be jumping over these walls. All right. Play the harp. Great. Play the harp. E. Aranese. Okay, so I just ran into it. Now we got a fog. Okay. Seems great. Whoa. I'm hearing something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's this, right? Yeah. yeah. A trap. Oh. Huh? Doesn't seem to be anything over here. Am I supposed to try to get past the trap? Timing? Yeah. We. Oh God. <clears throat> that was fun. So if I hit continue, do I? I start back in the same starting point, right? Of course I do. All right, guys, we're gonna try this this uh, maze one more time, just out of morbid curiosity yeah yeah i want to jump up on this uh landing here and i gotta get higher we we yeah a lot of good my jump does just gotta run to the where you can basically step up onto the platform. Yep, see? Truly really a great game. Fucking jump is absolutely useless. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, guys. To the developers of the game, this is absolutely amazing. I can't imagine playing a better game than this. We
Coins and souls. Okay. I'm trying to remember which way we went here. Must have been this way. Right. Right? Uh... I can't remember which way I went, guys. Yep, it's over here. Play the harp. Go through the fog. Let's try this trap again here. Ah! Okay, so I have, like, no control, because when I hit forward, my guy just paused, and then finally when he actually moved, it was too late, and I got myself, uh, beat, because the response time on your movement is terrible. This game is absolutely as horrendous as we thought it was, guys. Uh, look at Quit, look what it looks like. Just terrible. To the developers, these two guys here that made this pile of trash, you need to take this game back to the kitchen. Yeah, you, what you've tried to do here is you've tried to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this game. And instead, you know, I've asked you guys for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, let's say. And instead, what I've received is some kind of, uh, you know, watermelon... Chocolate, watermelon and chocolate with jalapenos and melted cheese and, you know, dog feces, lots of dog feces, uh, you know, gorilla hair and uh, pig eyeballs all mixed up. And all I wanted was a simple fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This game, basically what I'm saying is this game is a fucking mess. Uh, and uh, there's no other explanation for it. It's buggy. It's glitchy. The assets you've used are terrible. Your response time on movement in critical spots, such as that trap area, is absolutely horrendous. And this game is absolutely terrible. I can't even give this game a 0 0.5 out of, you know, out of 10. Uh, this game deserves nothing but a big fat 0. And uh, I don't think it's because there's a lack of effort. But I think the developers are relying way too much on assets here rather than their ability to code a game and to create a game. I think they've basically just uh, bought some assets and placed them in a uh, a big mess of a maze that they've created. And the uh, result is exactly what we saw there. I have no desire to ever want to play this game again, even if it were free, much less paying any amount of money for this game. Stay far, far away from this game, guys. Uh, the developers here, I believe, from all of my experience reviewing these games, either probably don't have enough care for this game, or experience to make this game good. And the reason I say they probably don't have enough care to ever make this game good, is because if they did care, they never would have launched this game in the horrible state that it is in right now. If they cared, they wouldn't release a game this bad. Again, I go back to the same thing I asked so many developers. Have you created a game that's worthy of you playing yourself? If you don't even enjoy playing your own game, how in the hell do you expect other people to enjoy playing your game, especially when they're paying money for it? A shame. It's a crying shame, guys. Get this fucking game off of Steam. This is absolute garbage. It is just cluttering up Steam, and there's already way too much shit on Steam already. Uh, you're just all you're doing is hiding and helping bury good indie gems on Steam uh, with more just total shit. That's my score, guys. This game makes my next miss video. I think we're like at 169 or something like that. But be sure you comment down below. Let me know if you agree with my score. I'm a big fat zero for this game, uh, and uh, I'm sure that this video hasn't inspired anybody to go buy this crap. But let me know if it has. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. This has been Zach's 399. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Take care.